Well, the Gorilla Collection is an event that sets out to unite Pacific <laughs> artists from multiple disciplines to create fresh and engaging work and to explore the future of Auckland, which is the largest Polynesian city in the world. Some of our top artists are involved, including the incredible award-winning performer Bella Kalolo and the amazing award-winning writer Victor Roger. Sure. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Um, Bella, let's start with you because we last saw you on the show with Julie Dean yes. last year yes. because you were doing Alchemy uh -huh. and according to how did that go? Awesomely. Yeah. Like it was received really well and we had a good fun time. The only thing was trying to remember the lyrics. <laughs> Remembering the lyrics to those Yeah, because you kind of like, you, you kind of blank out just before you're about to go into the next phrase. It's, that's, I hate that part. Oh, that's not ideal. Yeah, that's not ideal, but it happens. No, well, look, and just before we talk about the next awesome project that you're involved with, a little bit of background, Best Pacific Female Artist twice, you've worked in film, TV and musical theatre. What have been some of your career highlights so far? Actually, the wow... Um, production stage collective thing that just happened literally in Wellington just a couple of weeks ago. The River so, Arts. Yeah. What made that so special? It was different and I had to fly in from the roof. Like, yes. Wow. I had to fly in from the roof. <laughs> exactly. That was wow too. Like Jasmine and Lily. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, because I'm actually really quite scared of heights and the team got that memo and I was, uh, I had to go in on Sunday and we were starting our first show on the Wednesday, I think. So I had to get straight into my harness and then walk six floors up to the roof and get winched into my into my dress. Yes. Yeah, it was my dress. Yeah, it was like 15 feet. Just like pink, Just exactly the same. That, that's so different. <laughs> um, Victor, it was, it's really good to have you on the show too because we had your play, Randa's Tantrum, we mm. had um, on last year we talked about, but you weren't on talking about it. But you've, you've written for theatre, for television, for radio, for so many things. What about your career highlights? Yeah, I would say it's my play Black Faggot that has <clears throat> travelled throughout New Zealand, Australia, Edinburgh, Honolulu, and seeing the impact that that had on particularly young Pacific people who, yeah. is, who I wrote it for. That, that would be one of my highlights. And working with um, Black Grace earlier this year on a show called Crying Men. Um, I'm a long-term fan of Black Grace, and I'm getting to work with Neil and the dancers. Um, and the capacity as a writer was uh, a real highlight for me. And, and there is a bit yeah, of a... Really? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, tell us about the Gorilla Collection. What is it all about? How does it work? Bella? Well, <laughs> it, it, it's pretty much um, what we feel that but what Polynesia is going to look like in Auckland in like I think like the next 30, 30, 30 years, years. Exactly um, and our years. take on that and whether um, and it's about either food or culture or religion or so we're, all of those different aspects that with we as audio artists singers, actors, and also the dancers, a collaborative And writers. Group. And writers, I'm <laughs> sorry. Rude. So, <laughs> what's, what's your actual bit, what, what's your role, what are you doing? I'm singing in it. Um, I'm actually singing Nguyen songs. So I am not Nguyen, but we thought it would be interesting and important to uphold the Nguyen community. And you have to come through and actually find out why. Well, no, because I'm excited. Victor, what do you think Auckland is going to look like in 30 years? Yes, Victor, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's well, interesting, my piece is set in um, Ponsonby, <clears throat> mm. where I lived uh, on and off in, in the 90s and, again, more recently. <clears throat> but back in the day, my um, stepfather's mother, who was Samoan, um, lived on the street that I ended up living on in the 90s. And, you know, she was part of the the Polynesian wave that got pushed out slash invited out back in the day. So for me, um, my piece is about um, Polynesians reclaiming Ponsonby right. in 2048. That sounds pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. Now, you, neither of you are actual, like, like born and bred Aucklanders, are you? Mm -hmm. But you're born and raised in Christchurch, mm -hmm. then you spent yes. time in Wellington, um, and, but yeah. now you live in Auckland. Yes. What does it mean to you? What does Auckland mean to you? Actually, I used to live in Auckland in the early 2000s for a couple of years. Um, for me, it was, l l like honestly, culture shock. Like when I first landed in Auckland, there were so many brown people. Like, no, le like, le <laughs> legit. I was like, wow, there's so many brown people. Like, because brown people existed for me only as a handful at school. 
but a whole heap of brown people at church. So they were pretty much the two places. Well, no, and I know exactly you know. what you mean, because I grew up in Gore, and when I arrived, yeah, in, see? Hamilton, yeah, when I arrived in Hamilton, it was the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It blew me away. Yeah. Okay, cool. So how does this whole show work? Are there different performances? Is it one show? How does it work? It's a half hour, a half hour piece. Each artist yep. is yeah. half an hour. Okay. Yep. Yeah, totally. So they have uh, live entertainment in between the half hour segments, Ooh. which is really cool. And some, some, uh, some pieces are playing more than once. Is your piece playing? Yeah, I'm on Saturday once? and Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so is I'm yours? no, just on Saturday, oh, and then okay. we're doing a non-denominational church service. Service. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you got all these people <laughs> involved, and, and Victor, you know, by the time you sort of take a look at it all, how does it look in 30 years? Is there anything else, you know, apart from the politicians taking over Ponsonby? What else is there? Well, there's, my piece also touches on climate change, but my, my mm. piece is very much a fairy tale with okay. its tongue firmly planted in its cheek. <laughs> but I guess one of the things um, <clears throat> when I was working on it um, that I thought about was back in the day when my Samoan brother was in Papatoi Toy in South Auckland and my Palangi aunt was on Browns Bay on the North Shore and I was in the middle <coughs> in either like Hearn Bay or Ponsonby, there was no reason for my brother or aunt to ever bump up against each yeah. other and I think part of um, my piece is about the Bumping bump. Up. <laughs> Excellent, right. and I think we should leave it Yeah, I know. Oh, no, let's go. No, let's go. Thank, thank you um, both so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, and it's Free Festival too, which is really cool. Yeah, it's yes, free. absolutely. Yeah. Open to all. Mm, nice. The Gorilla Collection, ours by us for all, plays from Friday until Sunday at Auckland's ASB Waterfront Theatre. Entries free and no bookings required either, so make sure you head along. Yeah, make sure you do.